Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to an episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today I have something exciting for you. I have a 2021 Tesla Plaid in the shop. It is completely neglected. The owner likes driving it. He likes launching it. And as you guys can see, it's completely filthy. But before we get into the paint, we're gonna start off by cleaning up the wheels because a lot of customers always ask us via social media and our messages, how do I clean black satin wheels that don't have any gloss? These Tesla Plaid wheels are gonna be a great example because one, it accumulates a lot of brake dust, Two, they don't have any type of gloss, so today I'll be showing you guys how to probably care for any black satin wheels. To start off with, I already have this arsenal set up right here. It's a variety of different types of brushes that I'll be using. One will be the rim pack wheel brush. That'll help me get into the barrel of the wheel. I also have the wheelie, the board share detailing brush, the nifty brush, and obviously whenever I start cleaning with it, I will start going over exactly what brush does what. So to start off with, I already have my bucket set up with water. I'll be entering my dirt trap at a 45 degree angle, and then I'll just sink in all my brushes like this i can start lubricating them with water and whenever i apply my wheel cleaner that i'll be using today it's going to add added lubrication so today the wheel cleaner i'll be using is going to be diablo wheel gel i went with diablo wheel gel one because it's dilutable you could dilute into a secondary sprayer bottle like the ducky sprayer bottle three to one ratio so like this whenever you spray it, it foams up but you could also dilute it into a bucket so i'll just squirt some about an ounce into my bucket then after i squirt it into my bucket i'll just stir it and then to activate the suds, obviously you just get some type of pressure, like a water hose, and you'll activate it like that. So today, the reason why I went with Diablo Wheel Gel is because Diablo Wheel Gel, one, is a pH balanced gel. Two, it's a very gentle cleaner, but it's still going to do a phenomenal job at removing any brake dust, dirt, or grime debris that might be seen on the face of the wheel. So like this, I do not scratch it whenever I clean it. So step number one is going to be rinsing on the face of the wheel. The reason why I recommend rinsing on the face of the wheel is one, because it's gonna be very superficial, brake dust, grime, debris, road char that might be just sitting very lightly, and the water is going to be enough just to knock it off. So like this, whenever you go into your brushes, that's when you start cleaning the deeper end. So just step one is going to be rinsing down the wheel. After you rinse down the wheel, you could start seeing that the wheel is still dirty, all right? So I rubbed my finger on it and it's still dirty. So there's very stubborn grime. So if I rub it up here, you guys can see, all of that is just filth sitting on the face of the wheel. And over time, if you don't clean it, you will can possibly damage the finish because brake dust and road grime over time can penetrate the face of the wheel and damage the finish. So to start off with, I already have my Diablo wheel gel diluted into my secondary sprayer bottle, three to one. I'll spray it onto the face of the wheel and I'm going to allow Diablo wheel gel to dwell on the surface of the wheel. So I'll be very generous. I'll spray it all over. So like this, whenever I come with some brushes, I make sure I have lubrication everywhere and I, I do not harm the wheel. So after spraying it, I'll grab my water to activate the suds. And you guys can see how slick and thick these suds are. So I'll grab my rim packer wheel brush. I can start cleaning the barrel of the wheel. So I'll start out the, at the top and I'll scrub it back and forth. And the reason why I went with the rim packer wheel brush is because one, there's no type of metal involved whatsoever. It's a plastic handle with a rubber grip so you could always have grip on it and it has synthetic wool on it. So I guess you do not damage any type of wheel you work on. So just scrub it back and forth. And by taking these steps, you could clean any type of wheels. But today I am showing you guys how to probably clean satin wheels that don't have any gloss. So like this, we don't add any unwanted shine. So uh, you guys can see after I finish scrubbing it, I constantly be going back to sink it in my wash bucket. So the rim pack wheel brush, like I was telling you guys, it comes with three different types of brushes, the super long one, the medium one, and the super small one. But today I went with the super long one because these barrels on this Tesla Plaid are pretty big. So I already got the whole entire barrel. Now I'll respray it just like I have more lubrication. And remember, be very generous whenever you clean wheels because brake dust is abrasive. You do not want to scratch the face of the wheel. So after you're done, I'll grab my wheel my wheelie brush, I'll spray some on here for added lubrication. And now I'll scrub the face of the wheel. So the wheelie roll brush has flag tip bristles. That one, it contours to any type of wheel, whether you have high amounts of spokes or your spokes aren't as intricate, it's going to contour to the area. It's very soft. It's not going to damage your face of the wheel. And once you're done cleaning it, come down here and you guys can see at the bottom, I am rubbing it at the dirt trap. Bring it back out and you guys can see how clean it comes back up. I'll spray some Diablo wheel gel back on here. And now I'll go back and for a second pass, just so I can make sure I clean up the entire face of the wheel. So Diablo wheel gel, 
You probably forget it works on all types of wheels, whether it's matte, anodized, chrome, aluminum, any type of wheels, you want a very gentle clean and you want a maintenance clean, I recommend going with Diablo Wheel Gel. So now we finished cleaning the barrel of the wheel, we finished cleaning the face of the wheel, now it's time to get into the intricate details. That is why I have my boar's hair detailing brush. The boar's hair detailing brush is going to do an amazing job at one, if your wheels have lug nuts or a valve stem, you get into very intricate details. You go around the face and just get any, any bits and pieces that you might have missed as well as the rotor in the back. And finally, to clean off the tire, because I will be applying a tire dressing in our future videos, I just want to degrease it, so I'll be using Diablo Wheel Gel. I'll spray it on there. I'll grab my nifty brush, and the reason why I went with my nifty brush today is because the nifty brush is not as wide, and I do not want to hit the fender whenever I am scrubbing it. So if you have a low profile tire, I recommend using the nifty brush. So like this, you degrease your tires without scrubbing the face of the wheel or damaging it. Once you finish scrubbing it, it is time to rinse it off and we'll see the results that I achieved. All right, so I just finished rinsing on the face of the wheel and I ran over to get a microfiber towel just so I could buff off the water. And you guys can see, there's no type of dirt or grime coming off onto my towel. Everything has came off. If you do have intricate details, like very tight spokes, that's why I recommend using the Pro Blow. But since this wheel is not as intricate, but I did notice there's this lip back here that stores water, so that's why I'll be using the Pro Blow. But in the meantime, if you guys like these results and you want these results on your wheels, I recommend hopping onto our website right now, chemicalguys.com. You guys can check out all these products that I use today on our website, or if you want to stop by your local detail garage, I recommend you do so. You love your car, drive down to your detail garage. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because our next video we're going to be tackling the exterior of this Tesla Plaid. And as always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical Guys. Bonus clip, guys. So like I was telling you guys, if you guys have very intricate wheels, this is whenever you bring out the Pro Blow. The Pro Blow is a blower. It has a 10 foot long cord. And all you do is, all you do is just blow away. And just like that, I dried the wheel finish. I didn't use any microfiber towel by using just a Pro Blow. So if you love it, pick it up today on our website, chemicals.com.